Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I am making a turmeric honey and spice soap with coconut milk. Doesn't that sound luscious? I'm excited to do this. Uh, for the fragrance, I'm gonna be using this clove fragrant oil. And this is wonderful. Clove essential oil is notorious for speeding up trace. It's really great as, you know, the essential oil has wonderful properties, but it behaves very badly in soap. Well, this fragrant oil smells really on point. It smells like clove in a very sort of warm, spicy, not too um, pungent, but it's a good fragrance and it behaves perfectly in soap. So that's going to be the fragrance. And obviously this is going to have turmeric and honey and spice in it. So I have my organic turmeric powder, which is so beautiful. Um, I'll be using a good heaping tablespoon of turmeric to color. And for the spice portion, I'm uh, because of the clove scent is the spice. And then also I'm going to use some ginger. So it'll be turmeric and ginger for my spices. Um, and for my honey, I ran out of my locally harvested raw honey. So I bought this. It is also a raw honey, unfiltered, which I love. Um, and it's from the South regions and I'm in Tennessee. So it's not specifically local, like from my neighboring apiary, but it's close. And it's a good raw honey and taste divine. So I'm gonna put some honey in this also. Uh, and for the coconut milk, I'm using this I got on Amazon. And it is a guar gum free, pure coconut milk. And it's so creamy and wonderful. So that's gonna be the liquid portion. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to water discount for my coconut milk. And I will add my coconut milk straight to the oils and I will water discount and make a very heavy, steep lye water discount. Basically for me, I do like a 50-50 distilled water lye and then I take the extra portion of liquid and that'll be the milk. So that's how I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, what else do I have? Oh, I do have a little honey powder that I got. I wanted to try this um, in lip balms and stuff. And um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there too, just cause I have it and I wanna use it. So that's the honey, the turmeric, the spice. I think I got everything covered, the coconut milk. Let's get it all pulled together. Um, I might pull off a little and do a color swirl. I might leave this. I'm gonna see how it's behaving with the honey. Uh, tends to go pretty fast. Uh, it overheats or it can overheat. So anytime you put extra sugars in your soap with honey as in milks and things, it's something you have to watch out for. So if it's behaving, I might do a little color swirl in there with some uh, titanium dioxide, just take a portion off. We'll see how it's behaving when we get there. But let me get everything pulled together and get my hair pulled back and let's make some really, I think it's luxurious turmeric, honey and spice soap. So I'm almost ready to get uh, moving on making soap here and I wanted to show you all the additives that I'm going to put in my oils here. So I've got my uh, hard oils and butters melted and my liquid oils are all in here. I do have my clove fragrant oil is in here and to this I'm going to add all my good stuff. So here is my pure coconut milk that I have water discounted from my lye solution for this volume. So I'm going to mix that right into the oils. It's so thick and creamy. Wonderful stuff. Uh, and then I, so I'm going to show you what I've got going on over here. I made a little slurry. This is the raw honey, uh, turmeric, and ginger. And it kind of came together in a little dough ball here. So I'm going to get this blended really, really well in here. So the turmeric, ginger, honey. Um, and I did about a teaspoon of ginger and a tablespoon of turmeric is what that is. And about a tablespoon of the raw honey. And then also to amp it up, I have this honey powder. So I'm gonna use it, because I have it. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a teaspoon of honey powder in there. Um, and now my regular additives, which is my kaolin clay. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of kaolin. And two tablespoons of colloidal oats. I'll make it a nice rounded one because I think the oats kind of go with the whole, you know, theme of this. I just, I don't know, it sounded good to me. So there's all the additives and I'm going to get this blended in really well. Alright, it's time for my lye solution here, which has uh, its distilled water with a tablespoon of cane sugar dissolved in it before I added the lye crystals. It does have tuss of silk fibers and sodium lactate. So that's what's going on in there. And again, the volume of liquid is discounted 
uh, to make room for the coconut milk. So that is what's going on in there. And this is such a pretty color, I'm so tickled. But unfortunately, with uh, saponification, the turmeric won't stay quite this bright. It'll get sort of beigey tinged to it. You can already see the reaction there. But it's still really beautiful, and I love turmeric. I love it inside my body. I love it outside my body. I think it's a great spice, and ginger and clove, all that. I'm tickled with this. What I think I'm going to do here after I get this emulsified by hand stirring, I'm going to split off and put a little TD in um, my little pot here and just do an in the pot swirl just to bring some interest in this and make it beautiful. I like solid color soaps, but I, I don't know. I tend to just, I love my swirls. So that is my default is the swirling. So not a lot. I just wanted to add a little interest. And this is going to heat up because of the honey um, and the honey powder. Uh, so I will not cover my mold with a blanket today. Um, I will simply, let's see, I'm going to run my stick blender through there. I will just simply put the little wooden lid on my mold and let it go uh, without being covered and I'll check it to make sure I don't have any overheating issues. So let me just give this a quick buzz here. Oh, that's beautiful. Kind of looks like sriracha, doesn't it? <laughs> That's funny. All right, and we'll hop over here and give a quick buzz, and then we'll do our in-the-pot swirl. And I'm just going to pour in a couple different spots. And give it a couple quick passes with my spatula here to mix it just a little, and then we'll get pouring. So I'll put my spatula down and go one, two, three, four. And that'll be good. It's the next day, it's been about 24 hours and I can't wait to get this turmeric, honey and spice out of the mold. Talk about a color morph. So it went from the turmeric, that beautiful yellow, to a dark orange and now it's like peachy color. I can't wait to get in here and see what the middle looks like. into the middle of these and see how they're looking and that color morphine and all the good stuff that goes on. So it's kind of orange here and then yellow. It's going to be interesting to see how these cure out, but 
I like the subtle swirl. These are really cute and they smell good. Okay, so I have the log with the salt side down to help reduce drag marks. Let's get in here and see how these swirls are looking. This color migration is very interesting to me, how it's going from like an orangey to the yellow. I think that this is gonna be the cured out color, that sort of peachy orange but I think it's really beautiful. That's what the top is, so I think that this golden color is gonna go more peach when it's all said and done. But I'm very happy with these. I think they're really neat and just sort of turmeric and spice looking. I love them. I really like the subtle swirls. And these dots, I think, are probably little blobs of the um, turmeric powder and maybe a little of the honey, that clump that I put in there. I had a hard time breaking it up. Next time, I'll just put the loose powder in because that little coagulated blob of honey and ginger um, was really hard to blend in. So I think that's what those little dots are, which, you know, is fine. I think it kind of adds to the look.